Hey everybody, I'm Sirius JG, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series. I got, uh, if memory serves, it's entirely possible my memory is playing tricks on me. I got three, the the PS4 video games, uh, for Christmas 2019, which, whew, had some moments this year where I thought that might be my last Christmas, but it looks like I'll be around for at least one more. But uh, I got three games. I got me some Samurai Warrior Spirit of Sanada. I got me Nobunaga's Ambition Tai Chi. And I got a game called Death Stranding, which I have not touched yet. Now, Christmas 2018, I got the Final Fantasy, what is it, 15, 16? I still haven't played that. But for whatever reason, tonight seemed like a good night to play a game I don't know that much about. I've heard the jokes that it's a walking simulator. I've heard that it's a urine regulation simulator. Um, I kind of read somewhere that... There are negative in-game consequences which are not immediately apparent for killing human enemies. So I don't know what that means other than the implication that A, there are non-human enemies, and B, you probably want to go pacifist, which I usually do with my Kojima games anyway. But that's about it. Otherwise, other than knowing it's Hideo Kojima's first big published release game since uh, he and Konami uh, split for good... Uh, that's all I really know, so let's find out together about Death Stranding. Which I actually installed before I started recording, so hopefully there won't be an entire video's worth of watching things install. Like there was years ago when Bobo and I sat down for, uh, Guns of the Patriots. Just, a just some dude with a, with a semi-stash looking at a camera or something. That's, that's what we know so far. Sony Interactive Present Entertainment presents in association with Westcom. Backward seat, Ekama. Death Stranding. We got an update overview. Oh, great. There's photo mode. I don't care about these modes, but dang it, I guess other people do. New game, options, updates, open source licenses. Oh. I guess people are going in and modding the game themselves. Well, not really uh, much of one for modding games, so let's just uh, play the game. This game supports auto-saving. This is the first game you've ever played that supports that, so we want to explain the concept to you. We will play it on normal. Oh, I guess I'm a little curious. Recommended for those who have some familiarity with action games. Good at action games. I'm sure I could handle hard... Um, I'm not the best action game player ever. I feel like I can handle hard, but I almost in unfailingly play every game I play on the default difficulty the very first time. And when I say I feel like I can handle hard, I feel like I can handle hard with lots of failure and continues, but I think I could probably get past the game. No action game experience. Yeah. I mean, and in fair, oh, why am I getting stuck on this? Just move on, JG. I am not somebody who is offended by the existence of these settings. Some people just want to watch an interactive story and don't want their uh, hand-eye coordination tested. I'm cool with that. But let's go for normal. Start the game at this... Yes. Please don't throw up any more things that I can talk over for five minutes. Oh, come on! Okay. Never mind. It's like it started at twenty six and wasn't moving. I was like, "No, I swear to God, I installed the game. It was I didn't. I don't want a Metal Gear Survive thing where the first video was just <laughs> installing." Well, we've got um, those little flying zombie face things from Final Fantasy VIII are apparently washing up on a beach. I guess that's where we're starting here. Screen brightness, just screen brightness, so the image on the right can be seen. But the image on the left cannot. You know, I always like to go one brighter than their actual suggestions to you, which would be here, which I think was the default, so... Her. Statistical analysis indicated that Doom's abilities vary according to the sufferer's date of birth. Or establish your own ability levels, please enter your birthday. 
Okay, well, there that's not, everyone can see my birthday now. Thanks, thanks, game. That was something that I wanted the internet to know. Our level of Doom's abilities have been observed in those born under constellations such as Cancer, Pisces, Cetus, Delphinus, and Gigas. Great. Good to know. This is, gonna, is this turning into Final Fantasy tactics? Like we're going to have like Zodiac compatibility bullshit here? Master Chief meets... Oh, it's Death Man. Welcome to the moon, planet of death. Oh, that's his new production slate. Okay. Well, I'm glad that the fiery whale from um, Phantom Pain is back as a water whale. The rope, along with the stick, are two of mankind's oldest tools. The stick to kept the bad away, the rope used to bring the good towards us. They were our first friends our own invent of our own invention. Where uh, second friend was Once woman who was invented from man's rib. A bang which gave birth to time and space. Let me tell you about a man I knew when Once I was Once there young. was an explosion. A bang which set a planet spinning in that space. The big bang attack. Once there was an explosion. A bang which gave rise to life as we know it. Once and there was a repetitive pattern the of dialogue. the next explosion. It brought death, I guess. Here it goes. Dirty air. Wow, the land of death seems uh, kind of pretty. Death Stranding, a tale of romance and friendship. Possible content ID. Because of this song. Oh, Mads Mickelson. Was he that guy who cut somebody's ear off in Reservoir Dogs? Or am I getting him mixed up with a different actor? Or is that Michael Madsen? Yeah, give me some actors I know I don't know. That'll, that makes it easier. Come on, give me Paul Eating. Eating. And you know what? You really owe it to um, David Hayter to give him a role in this game. Just... Tommy Earl Jenkins, Tommy Earl Jones's cousin. Special appearance by Guillermo del Toro. Probably appears for four seconds. Special appearance by someone I've never heard of. You know, Bobo found a freaking car in Metal Gear Survive. He never even finished the game, at least not to date. I never found a freaking vehicle. He just found one, like, just randomly the game just dropped one in his lap. And Emily O'Brien, the designer of Neo. Oh, man, I hope nobody tampered with my yellow tape. If, I, if they did, it'll be void. You brought the birds here. You're evil. Oh, bird crap makes his hair burn. Huh? I'm thinking that wasn't meant to be bird crap. Or it just has really thick hair that it spread out across in a weird way. I'm surprised they didn't tell us a uh, manufacturer from whom we can buy that motorbike. Or that this guy doesn't have his own set of uh, eyeglasses or sunglasses we can purchase. I'm not, I'm not ruling that out, that there might be a, uh, a place to go buy sunglasses that look like this guy's that is actually going to be referenced in the game. You know, there are places in Ireland that look a bit like this. I don't think this is necessarily... It's not the only place in the world that has cliffs like that, but... Perhaps his oars cut like knives through the craggy fjords. It was Eric and his bloodthirsty hordes. Yeah, I bet you're the one that peed on me, aren't you? You deserve to die. Oh no, it's some kind of like super death rain. 
Oh, and somebody with Inviso power is chasing him. Again, I don't know anything about this game. I'm expecting it to be weird. Never played a Kojima game which I didn't gain any enjoyment out of, but I've also never played one that wasn't fucking weird. I thought I saw a pretty lady. It threw me off. His little raccoon face, uh, shades of no, 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 no. oh, oh, on yet. Oh, great. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I figured they would make us earn transportation. Recover your cargo, then find shelter from the rain. Grab with left hand, grab with right hand, carry on back. Cargo from the smart. Drug delivery order acquired. Total two of four. Oh, so there's more that I need to find? Over here. Over here. Over here. Tap the scan. Something was over there. Grip for balance, climb. Right, let's try to do a full clear of this first mission. Lost cargo. You find some cargo from a band of livery start about the landscape. Moving this cargo to its intended destination in its good condition will make you very popular indeed. Okay, so I, I can't tell if that's one piece or two piece over there. This entire game will be played using Mako physics, or Mako physics, rather. Oh, one of them is way over there. Well, I would assume there's not any murderous killer threats in the tutorial level. There might be plenty of ways for us to fall to our death, though. Like... That doesn't look like a good place to try to be. I might be able to climb up right here. So which one of these is actually cl You are probably closer. It says 48, and then over here is like... Can't quite tell how far that is. Yeah, I'm really not sure which... I'm not figuring out how to read this to tell which one's close. What? Haven't found all the cargo yet. Well, whatever. I guess the game is forcing my hand. The irony is, I was thinking about, instead of playing this, starting a Let's Play of Grand Theft Auto 3 tonight. Either way, it would have involved searching for packages. Sam, Norman Reedus. So, who is he? Which one? Norman Reedus is, I would presume, the voice actor. And motion capture actor, because God forbid we have people do the voices who aren't also the motion capture actor. If we did that, we might be able to pay them to actually talk more than four times over a 29 million hour game. Yeah, I'm a, I'm pro-hater. David Hater, I mean. I'm a pro-hater. I'm paid to hate. I'm Stephen Miller. <laughs> Don't put your glove back on. Uh, shouldn't have stripped off in the middle of the acid rainstorm, I guess. Thank you, game, for making me think about my neuropathy.
I just felt a blast of tropical punch flavor. So somebody's walking very slowly on their hand while being invisible. With Inviso power, you can only assume it's Hitler from those World War II posters about not driving alone. I mean, I can't think of anyone else who would be invisible. Hush, little non-spiky armor guy, don't say a word. Fragile. I'm guessing this thing is a threat. I'm curious as to what it could be, and there's no way it's as stupid as the the burning, flaming guy from Metal Gear Solid 5 was. But he might yet surprise me. These are the fingers pushing into our dimension that the ores were talking about in the game. I have never LP'd, so there's no reason you'd know what I was talking about. Ores are many fingers. They wanted to have, like, parties. I don't remember all the weird ores terminology, so I should probably stop trying to reference it. Well, I gotta admit, they gave me, like, Two and a half minutes, three minutes of play before we got into this second lengthy cinematic. So we're doing pretty well, gameplay to story-wise, for a Kojima game. I still want to go find the rest of them packages. There were four. It said something like four, minimum one. So I don't know if I'm now locked out of getting them. That's the sky, all right. Oh, he's sad. He's sad that the world is now inhabited by invisible hand-walking monsters. Prologue Porter. One of my favorite members of the Porter family is Cousin Prologue. I think they're gone. <laughs> what the hell? Didn't mean to grab you so hard. Well, yeah, don't Jesus. touch me in. A chiral allergy. So, you have dooms, like me. I've got the oh. extinction factor, but I think you got me beat. What's your level? You can see them, right? No, but I can sense them. Level two, then. I can smell them. What are you doing here? Trying to stay dry. Same as you. And you make me really Time dry. My name is Fragile. Fragile yeah, Lace I've heard of you. <laughs> you know, be friendly to the first character you meet. Some Porter Bridges. No, my name is Porter Prologue. The man who delivered. Or Prologue Porter. Yeah, they call me Carl Malone. I mean, the mailman. Sorry, that, that I did that joke totally wrong. Now ride, postman. Oh, fun. Flying maggots. A crypto buy it a day keeps the time fall away. We've all heard that common expression, right? Yeah, I've seen people eat grosser things. 
Wanna come work for me? Must be tough out here on your own. Yeah, I thought Fragile Express had plenty of people. Plenty of traitors. Not much left of us now, save for a few honest folks. I need somebody who's willing to service me, that, if you know what I mean. Not much left of me either. Got soaked from neck to toe. And I can't help you with that. I'm out of tells. I make deliveries. That's all. This is Bridges Central Dispatch. Freelance contractor Sam Porter Bridges. Receiver is standing by for drop. Oh, he's a freelance. Um, he must be like a WWE wrestler. He's not an employee. He's a uh, headed into town. Independent contractor. No, I gotta get the rest of these packages. Damn it! Those things never stay gone for long. Do you like my leather bound butt? Go home and be a family man. <laughs> She's not going to turn out to be his daughter, is she? Whatever it touches. But it can't wash everything away. Sometimes I wish a great town fall would come down and wash away all the scum of the city. I'll see you around. Sam Porter Bridges. I told you, my name is Prologue Porter. Oh, does she like teleport? I guess that's supposed to be spooky. I don't know enough about this universe's rules to determine whether or not that was unusual. Oh, well, let's find out if I get to go grab these boxes. Or packages, or... Aha! The red bar is the blood gauge. When it reaches zero, Sam will die. The blue bar is the stamina gauge. This guard depletes. Sam moves more slowly. Maintaining his balance is harder. Okay, well that was the same, uh... Don't be so serious. Low roar. How do I how do I crouch? And just on the off chance Grimith is watching, why would crouching ever be useful in any video game? Content match. I didn't mean to get quite that close to the edge. I have no doubt this is a game where you can walk off the edge and die. Why wouldn't it be, frankly? The games that don't let you do that are actually Pretty unrealistic. Oh, I can beat a, eat a crypto bloat. Use crypto bloat to restore blood levels. Losing too much blood will cause your movements to become sluggish. Now, I thought I had a quest. Deliver one or more consignment of smart drugs. Okay. We sometimes find cargo from abandoned deliveries dotted with the landscape. Okay, so maybe I... Th I thought I remembered reading that there were four... Um, four things of cargo, but... Maybe I was wrong, because there was really only one... There was an indicator that was pointing me towards this cave, I guess. And there was an indicator that was, unless there's something else over here. Central Knot City. Smart drug, Central Knot City. Okay, so this is a smart drug I need to get. And it's, I gotta find a way to get down there without dying, I would assume. Why so serious? Well, it's a good thing this guy's got uh, headphones. This is a goofy fun zany game about post apocalypse land. A grip for balance. Okay, now I'm... We'll get these controls eventually, folks. And you know what? In the real world, if you start going down a really, uh... Sharp incline like that, it tends to, uh... Ah, okay, yeah, see? 
So we lost our motorbike down here somewhere, so it makes sense this is where our packages would have ended up. How do we avoid losing balance in a river? I guess we're gonna find out. Endurance gauge appears about the stamina gauge, performing actions that wear on Sam's body. Okay, so you can't just wander, wade, wade through bridges infinitely. I'm carrying a lot of sh stuff now. Doesn't appear to be anything over there. And it definitely seems that wandering around in the wrong places is going to deplete your energy and uh, mess you up. So let's head for what we have scanned. It's over here someplace. We've detected Akio Sakamoto. Domo arigato, Akio Sakamoto. Skip, skip, hop at a jump, please. A dude? Who said a dude? Don't be so serious, guys. Did we say a dude? Or was oh dude like uh, maybe the assistant graphic programmer and it's part of the credits? As long as I'm here, I guess I can look for other stuff. I would imagine these come back after a while. Picked up head of distribution of Centro City's drop cargo. One likes received. Aw. That's probably about as many as I can expect on this video. So if you are the head of whatever, whatever cargo, please make sure you like, like, subscribe, comment on this video. Otherwise, you've made Hideo Kojima a liar. Alright, so... Is there any kind of map to tell me where the hell I'm going? Oh, that's me yelling, hey, like an idiot, I think. Well, assuming this isn't some kind of death river, there's a decent chance that the city will be located near a water source. Oh, there's more smart drugs showing up. Oh, yeah, okay, well, there's a city. <laughs> well, it looks a bit like a base from Metal Gear Survives. Clearly, he's ripping off Metal Gear. Keep him out of the river, wouldn't you? When you center your balance in a river, you'll be able to resist the flow of water. If you center your balance with both hands, you'll be able to hold on for longer. Good to know. Well, you know what, game? I've tried my best not to fall over like a dumbass. Okay, so I lost health. Lost health from tripping over like a dumbass. Which, in fairness, if you, like, fall the fuck over, it hurts. Eh. 
And uh, considering how this physics of this game have worked so far, I doubt I can safely fall that distance. So let's try to wind our way around. Oh, God. Staying upright. Falling over damage will cause... Wait. Over Damn it, game. I wasn't, I wasn't done reading that. I'm not trying to yell. I'm trying... Staying upright. Falling over will damage cargo. Taking damage will cause the impact band in the cargo containers to gradually turn red. Start to lose your balance. Use okay. Well, hopefully I didn't damage cargo. Well, I'm certainly seeing what the walking simulator thing was about. that river again to get at that cargo. And I think based on what button makes me go over here, I'm going to be hitting that button when I mean to pause kind of a lot. But this time, I won't. I'll hit the right button to pause, and I'll call it a video. And when we come back next time... Um, you'll be asking the question, why so serious, JG? Why so mysterious? And how come my recording doesn't seem to be working? Oh, fuck. All right. This video may or may not have taken. Talk to you guys next time.